I would want to see and follow Susan B. Anthony, who was a reformer and an activist in women's suffrage, and really want to ask her, what gave you the courage at a time when women were not getting equal rights? Um, what gave you the courage to step forward and lead the fight? Towards the top of the list would be Sojourner Truth and Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. And I would want to go back to the 1920s, or I think it was 1920, when women were finally given the right to vote. Uh, those women were so imperative to where we are now today, and they mean so much to our history, and I would just love to sit down and chat with them and hear about their experiences. The most influential woman that has been in my life is my fourth grade teacher who whenever we tried to do something that we were afraid of or we couldn't quite grasp, um, we'd get frustrated and she'd pull us aside and she'd say, why not? Why can't you do this? And we'd go on on our list of answers of why it was hard for us or difficult or we didn't want to. And at the end, she'd say again, but why not? And whenever I come across a task that I feel is a little overwhelming or something that I'm a little scared to do, I just revert back to her voice in my head saying, why not? And I gain the courage and I try. I would say the most influential woman I know would be my wife. Um, and she inspires me other than being the mother of my child. Um, I think just the amount of work that she can handle and seeing her um, progress in her career while getting a master's degree and just the amount of things that she can jump on at the same time is extremely impressive um, and it's more than I could ever handle. So, um, I love her dearly. Um, the most influential woman that I know is my mom and you know I just like to recognize her. You know at the early age of 36 she became a single mom when my mom when my dad passed and you know I was the youngest of four um, and there was a 10 11 years between me and my oldest brother and I never felt like we were any different of a household than anybody else and uh, she was always calm, supportive. So the person that inspires me the most is a friend of mine that I met through my workout class. Um, she has four young kids and unfortunately lost her husband last year to ALS, which is the same disease my grandfather passed away from. It's an awful disease, but the way she's continued to live her life so vibrantly with her kids dancing and music always playing in the background while always keeping her husband present and in her memory really inspires me. The most influential woman in my life is my mother and she managed to raise me all by herself being a single mom. She started from her job being in the manufacturing line and worked her way up being a prototype designer. She showed me that hard work always pays off and I look up to her with everything I do in life. Well, I would say, you know, understand their needs and certainly you want to make sure that we're giving uh, them the same opportunities as everybody else is getting and, you know, basically try to treat them in, uh, as equal as you would anybody else, you know, male, female, it shouldn't matter. So the best way that, that I can think of it would really be to promote um, and connect the women that we have you know within our business to the ones that have been able to grow into senior leadership uh, positions uh, this way you know not only can they have kind of a mentor mentee relationship but also they can learn about their story they can learn about you know how they were able to navigate and grow within the business um, you know and it should certainly give them the confidence to also do the same as well as you know pick up on, on any advice as well I would say for every woman in construction, there is a career group, there are opportunities in construction. Uh, when I started as an estimator 20 years back, there was nobody. When I used to go to a job site, they used to look at me and they used to think I'm from client side or I'm from owner side and I was, no, I'm an estimator. I think as a woman, estimator can be the best choice 
because they are more into details they always can call out the subs they have more patience they are like god gifted i would say so i would say for every woman they should be in construction i've seen women as a super as a project manager and uh, i would definitely advise women to be in construction advice i would give to a woman interested in construction um, is to always stay confident uh, in an industry that is typically known to be um, male dominant still still be confident be comfortable in uh, your surroundings and don't be afraid to speak up. Um, everyone has great ideas and um, everyone can bring something to the table. I would say that you are wanted, you are needed, you are worthy, and we need more female representation in this industry. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We, you